Hello and welcome back to Biblically Centered Kids. Today is a lovely Thursday. It's actually Thursday, February 8th, 2024. This is Miss Danica and Mr. Johnny. We are so happy to have you listening. This week, we're talking all about forgiveness. We hope that you've recognized this virtue and have been able to offer it to others this week. If you recall, Virtue F says we forgive frequently showing grace and mercy to others and ourselves. Now, before we get into what we have going on today, we want to give a quick shout out to one of our listeners who has a birthday today. Whoa. (laughs) A big happy birthday to Cohen from Fort Worth, Texas, who is turning nine today. And he is actually also celebrating his birthday in Disney World. But happy birthday, Cohen. We're sure that this is one that you will not forget. But today is New New Testament Testament Thursday. Thursday. Every Thursday, we're going to read stories from the New Testament in the Bible that illustrate this week's biblical family virtue. The New Testament contains stories all about Jesus's life and some letters and stories from his disciples after Jesus went back up to heaven. The Bible is a book given to us from God that tells us all about him and his son, Jesus. When we read it, we can discover what he's done in the past and then learn what he has to say to us today. So let's hear from God's word where we can find absolute truth, godly wisdom, and the unchanging promises of our creator. Lots of times when Jesus was hanging out with people, He didn't just give them a list of do's and don'ts. He was actually a fantastic storyteller. He had this special way of telling stories called parables. Now, what's a parable, you might ask? It's like a super duper cool picture made out of words. Jesus used these word pictures to explain important stuff he wanted everyone to know. Most of Jesus' parables were like sneak peeks into the kingdom of God a place where things work in a totally different, awesome way. Jesus made sure to tell stories that anyone could get, whether they were farmers, big shot landowners, or even temple priests. He didn't use big, fancy words that would confuse people. Instead, he told stories that everyone could understand right away. And they were so fun and interesting that you'd remember them forever. But here's the fun part. Some of the stories had hidden meanings. It was like Jesus was playing a cool mystery game with his friends. He would explain the surprises of the parables later, especially after he did something super amazing like coming back to life. Jesus would share these special secrets with his closest pals, who would then tell the stories to others, and that's how we get to read these awesome parables in the Bible today. In the book of Luke, in the Bible, Jesus told a story that many people love. It's often called the prodigal son or forgiving father. And it goes like this. There was a man with two sons. The younger one was a bit impulsive and adventurous. He asked his dad for his share of the family's money so he could go explore the world. The dad, being super understanding, agreed. And off went the younger son to a faraway place. Bye! Now... This young guy didn't make the wisest choices. He spent all his money on fun things like parties and games and all sorts of wild stuff. But then a big problem came along. He ran out of money. And then a famine hit the land. The young son was in trouble and ended up with a not so great job feeding pigs and he even had to eat their leftovers. Yuck! One day, he had a big realization. He thought, I messed up. It's my fault. I should go back home and say sorry to my dad and ask if I can just be one of his workers. So, he headed back, nervous about what his dad might say or what he might do. But guess what? His dad saw him from far away and ran to hug and welcome him home. 
The young son started apologizing, but his dad didn't want to hear it. Instead, the dad shouted, Get the, the best, best clothes, a ring, and, and shoes. Let's, Let's celebrate. My son who was lost is back. Now, here's where the story gets even more interesting. The older brother, who had been a super good son, heard the music and saw a party. He got a bit upset. I've, I've always, always been good, good and, and no, no one, one threw one me a party, he thought. The dad explained, you are always with me and everything I have is yours. But today is special because your brother who was lost is now found. We're not really sure if the older brother felt better, but the dad's message was clear. Forgiveness and joy are important. Jesus, who told this story, wanted us to know that when someone makes a mistake but learns from it, there is so much happiness, just like when a lost sheep finds its way back. So, whether we've been lost and found or stayed on the right path, let's celebrate and be happy for each other. And here's the beautiful part. Forgiveness is a key part of this story. The dad forgave his younger son completely without holding on to any anger or blame. It's a reminder that forgiveness is powerful and helps us mend relationships. Just like the forgiving father, let's be ready to forgive others and ourselves when we make mistakes. It brings joy and helps us grow closer together. So let's celebrate the power of forgiveness. All right, let's pray. God, thank you for this beautiful parable Jesus told. Thank you that as our Father, you forgive every sin and every poor choice that we make, and you welcome us back with open arms when we turn from our sin and when we seek your help. We ask that we would be able to show that same forgiveness to others. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. We hope you enjoyed today's story. If you learned something from it, why don't you tell a brother or a sister or even your mom or dad? Don't forget to tell your parents to visit biblicallycentered.com for some free downloads on biblically centered virtue. We are so glad that you listened to our New Testament story today. Remember that showing forgiveness is always best. Until next time. Mm-hmm.